Hey guys, I'm here today to showcase a cool 7 component reactor controller that's got a lot of nice features from the Steam Workshop, and I'm also showcasing a 2 component Wi-Fi addition to it that I've made that makes it voice controllable from anywhere on the ship, including up to 50 meters um, EVA reliably, or 100 meters EVA if you're lucky. So, um, the way this 7 component controller and its 2 component addition uh, works is basically it's a faster version of the normal reactor controller. It runs 25% more efficiently by default by running the reactor colder uh, and it has optional undervolting if you don't need as much turbine output in the first place. And all of this is voice controlled which means you can basically turn your reactor on or off remotely as well as undervolting it or uh, disabling the undervolt uh, at will. This can let you really just absolutely multiply your fuel rods uh, lifespan by like two times, three times, even more, uh, depending on how much you want to undervolt your ship. So um, you're going to need seven components for the reactor plus a Wi-Fi and a regex. Um, the main seven components you're going to need though are three memory, three division, and one multiplication. The way I like to lay these out is you put the memory kind of far away, you put a multiplication component three squares under it, you'll put one multiplication to the right, or one division to the right of the multiplication, one division to the left of the multiplication. The first multiplication component gets a memory friend, the second gets a division friend, and the third gets another memory. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the wiring. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver. If you're not very skilled with electrical engineering, be sure you wear an engineer's jumpsuit and an abyss diving suit to help protect you from birds. <laughs> um, the first wire you're going to want to run is from the load out to your first division components numerator second wire you're going to want to run is from your second division component or your first division components denominator to this memory component that goes with it to its output. Uh, the memory component will hold whatever your reactor's uh, power output is. For the humpback it's 2800, for the typhon it's 3000. Um, it'll depend on the ship. You should check the wiki for vanilla ships. And for custom ships, you must check the workshop page or the sub-editor. You also have to change this if you buy the reactor outputs, and I'll put the multipliers for those in the description. Um, but anyway, you want to set this to the reactor's power output. The first division component will take the reactor's current load and divide it by the reactor's power output. Um, I have heard that you risk electrical fires if you don't clamp this output to one, so you should go ahead and do that. Uh, the next wire you're going to want to run is from the output of that first division component to the input of the multiplication component. Then you'll want to attach this memory component up here, attach its output, um, set it to something like 80 for now, it doesn't matter, we'll change it later. So we're multiplying the result of the first division by a number like 80. Then you're going to want to hook the output of that multiplication component up to the turbine output. Um, and it should go without saying that your reactor should be off at this time. The next component you're going to want to wire up is this second division component. Its output is going to control your fission rate, um, but now we need to define its inputs. So the first input in the numerator needs to be another copy of that multiplication component's output. So the turbine output is also the input to the numerator of this division component. The second division component's denominator is the output of the third division component. 
Uh, the third division component has two inputs. The numerator is going to be your fuel value. And the denominator is going to be that memory component that you made earlier. And I'm going to steal a black wire from that, because I want that for fixed values. So again, for the reactor controller, the first division component divides the load output by uh, the reactor's strength. You take that result and you divide it by a number like 80. You use the result of that division to set the turbine output and for future computation. Uh, the second division component takes the first division components, or takes the multiplication component's output, divides it by the third component's uh, output, and this sets the fission rate of your reactor. The third division component takes the current fuel value of your reactor and divides it by the final memory component, which holds the fixed value of 75, which you should pencil in now. Um, so now that you've got your reactor strength in the second memory component, a value like 80 in the first memory component, and the number 75 exactly in this uh, third memory component, you should be clear to turn the reactor on and leave automatic control off, and you're going to get a engine that's running and is undervolted by 20%. Um, you can now change this top memory component to whatever under whatever voltage value you want. Uh, 100 for a properly running system, or you can just set it to zero to turn off the reactor entirely. Very convenient. Next, we're going to build the Wi-Fi setup. Um, so what you're going to do for this is just place a Wi-Fi component, link it to chat, and make sure that the channel is the same as your channel. Then you're going to want to place the regex component, and you're going to want to put one as the output, use the capture group, Clear the false output. Make sure that's blank or you're going to screw up your reactor anytime somebody sends a message. Uncheck continuous output. And for the expression, you're going to want to put a, uh, a little bit of a monster that I will put in the description for you. Um, so it'll be caret POW, opening parenthesis, question mark, colon, ER, clothing parenthesis, uh, question mark, space, opening parenthesis, backslash D, plus, closing parenthesis, dollar sign. Uh, it's a bit of a monster, but I'll just put it in the description, because you can copy-paste in this game. You want to take the output of the Wi-Fi component, hook it up to the input of the regex component, then you'll take the output of that regex component, and run this across your ship to the input of the memory component you had earlier. Now, if you'll note right now, the reactor is off. But now that we've just added the voice module, we can type PAL100 from anywhere on the ship to turn the reactor on. And this is not cheating, this isn't rigged, I didn't pause the video, I don't even have a video editor on my computer. But, uh, basically you can just type POW or POWER some number to set the reactor's current voltage. That's 100 for normal operation, 0 for a total shutdown, um, or an intermediate value for partial undervolting. And I've heard that, and based on my testing, um, something like 78 is plenty luxurious for a, a nice aggressive journey. Uh, and I'm sure my friend who just logged on, I don't know if you saw that earlier, would be very pleased to find that I've rewired the ship while he's gone. Um, I would have had him do this, but I'm He's the electrical engineer, but anyway, I hope this made some people's day more fun, and I hope you have a lot of fun with your voice-controlled reactor and riffing on this to make an entire voice-controlled ship. Uh, see you guys later.